All right, welcome back to some more Crab Champions. In the last episode, we tried out the minigun once again, but this time it was updated to have escalating shots. So you can see it shoots a little bit faster. But it is interesting because it doesn't actually work like escalating shot does on other weapons. It actually resets whenever you stop shooting, which is kind of cool. Um, but I feel like it could just be like built into the minigun instead of having its own mod, because considering it does work a little differently. Either way, the end of that run was... Uh, Tragic. Okay, anyway, um, we're we're gonna do the dreaded run today. We're gonna do dual shotguns. Probably my least favorite weapon in the game. Let's see what we get. Dagger arc. It's good, but it definitely works better with uh with the faster fire rate. But we got the ice blast today, as you can see. We got it, it's kind of interesting. It's like a wave that shoots on the ground. So we're gonna see how this, this gun works. I think the blades are gonna be good though. I think as long as we yeah, like that. That's yeah, that's pretty strong. Okay, that, I think that's actually decent. A decent item to start it. Let's go for. We're not aiming ever, so. Okay, you know what? Let's do bigger grenade. I don't know if that makes the, the ground bigger. But let's go for upgrade. I really want to get the dagger shot up, in in frequency. That'd probably be the the thing we're going for here. Big grenade's not really going to do it for me. Yeah, actually, the daggers are doing great. The thing that I have the biggest gripes with the shotgun is, one, the range is terrible. Two, the fire rate is not amazing. And three, the did I already say the damage is not great? I can't remember. I said fire rate and the range and the damage. It's just all around not great. 150 damage per second. Okay, interesting. Uh, the biggest thing is just that it forces you in towards enemies... And in doing so, it ups your risk of dying. Oh, the dagger shot's going off a lot. Look at that. Okay, I see potential with this run. I've tried this gun before, a long time ago. And I, I, from my experience, I've had trouble with it. Also, someone commented that I missed one of these rocks one time. I am so sorry. Wait. Can I not hit it? Maybe the daggers can? Are you kidding me? Oh my, I can't hit it. Let it be known I tried. We're going to go for big chest here. And of course, greed should give us two options. Chill out. Getting an early good greed perk would be great. I don't know what we're kind of looking for though. It seems like daggers are going to be our source of damage, actually. Because, like, 5 damage per shot is not fantastic. Obviously, you can upgrade your damage, but it's kind of hard to get a good double-edged sword. Here we go. Gain crystals when dealing damage. This is how we're going to hopefully, like, steamroll this build. Yep. We just want to deal as much damage as we can. The second the daggers come out, it's just everything dies. Please fire it. There we go. Look at that. That's great. Our damage is good with the daggers. Our money is in a good situation or a good spot. Yeah, this is honestly all around just good. We have sharpshooter. And sharpshooter, perfect. Okay, should we go for elemental? Probably. Grab this heal real, real quick. Yeah, I find this is probably one of the hardest guns to get diamond on, just based on the playstyle. But we can make it work. We can, we can do something here. I want to get it out of the way because it's, it's honestly been kind of weighing on me a little bit. I knew it was coming. The day had to happen at some point. So we'll see what interesting builds we, we uh, come up with. Let me throw my first ice down. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it does freeze enemies and they kind of slide around. And it seems to do like damage over time, which is kind of good. Shoot. Okay. 4,000 credits is good or cr crystals is good so far. Should be able to make use of... Oh, poison shot's great. We should be able to make use of, like, uh, a 
a lot of shop rerolls here as long as it doesn't blow up. It seems like the, the poison seems to be going off quite a lot actually, which is good. Uh, the interesting thing about shotguns, and this is like the one perk that the shotgun has, is that I'm pretty sure every every bullet has the same shot chance for ch chance-based perks. So that means you're basically going to poison every time, even with like a couple stacks of poison shot. Because every shot is rolling. So we should be able to sustain our poison on enemies. It's the one thing this game this uh this build has going for it. Uh let's see big grenade. I don't know if it's making this ice bigger. Go for critical. Let's see. Seems alright. Hello. Perfect. Okay. I'm running. Put the ice down. This is honestly okay. I don't mind the ice. I feel like the black hole is more useful overall. Also, we gotta be careful. We lose crystals when we take damage. Three seconds. And there we go. So for for the first shop, we'll have 7,000 crystals. We should take sharpshooter. Let's get our crit chance like as high as we can. And then we'll go for power punch. Okay. Nothing really that good right now. We are looking for better. Big chest is great. More options. We should be able to really cater our build the way we want to. Damage increase to poison enemies is great. Don't really care about crystal combo. It's not amazing. Dagger arc we will definitely do. What are we at? 24% chance. So every four shots we should be doing one. Ooh, big chest again. I'm going to go for poison vial. We'll probably get another big chest at some point. And we will go with that. Ow. I would really like a couple more stacks of poison so we can really stack up the poison on the enemies. But it seems like we're doing okay. Yeah, I would say that's alright. That's pretty good. Alright, so chests are going to be much bigger. Critical lightning. Wait. That's really good, isn't it? There's some good options in here. Psycho supercharge is good. But I think when you see... When you see critical lightning... You gotta, you gotta take it. Kind of like a lightning, lightning shotgun build. Like, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, that was the right choice. <laughs> Is there a cooldown on that? Nope. Critical hits shock random enemies with 50 lightning stacks. Well, we now know what our build looks like. Big grenade, power armor. Every fifth shot does bonus damage. We're hip firing all the time. Let's do that. Elemental. Let's go for a, let's go for a lightning shot. Maybe. I've never really built a lightning build. The game decided to do that for me. Wow, it's shocking everything in the room. This is kind of crazy, no? I'm not kidding. This is actually like nutty. If we get like a hundred percent crit chance. We are going to be critting. We're going to be crit lightning everywhere. And we have poison shot extra as well. Uh, let's go for some health to like secure a safety net. We're not at a lot of HP here. The biggest th biggest mistakes for doing the nightmare plus is not prioritizing survivability. Later on, things can one shot you, and your run is just ruined. Poison build is great too. What kind of a, like a poison lightning build? Vitality's good. Reduced 
damage is probably the play. Let's, if we can reduce our damage like crazy, then we don't have to worry about getting hit later on anyway because we're, our, our one-shot ability is removed. So as long as we can keep our damage down, I think we're in a good spot. Bye-bye, Skull. Like, as long as you keep critting, things are just getting, like, rained on by lightning. By shooting anything, you're indirectly hitting every other enemy. This is an amazing build. Fortitude is the best option here. Not even close. Go for a flawless. This room is very hard to flawless, but it's doable. I don't know if that counted as taking damage. I don't think it did. I mean, are you seeing this? Everything's getting shocked like crazy. This is an, this is an insane build. If I chose anything but uh, lightning, oh, okay, I got hit. That's okay. That's all right. We do need to heal though. We're a little bit, a little bit scary. Is the big grenade getting any bigger? I don't know if the AOE is getting bigger. I haven't really been using it. I'd rather just get trick shot to upgrade my damage. What do we have over here? Rig totems. Yes, please. Okay, we have no health, so we gotta be a little careful. Okay, uh, and I immediately fall off. L plus ratio. Is there a way I can get back? Well, I can definitely just force things to fall off. Okay, well, I fell. Why does that skull have so much HP? Okay, a little scary. Woo! Bonus crystals is great. Crystal dividends might be better. That's a tough one. I think we want to do percentage, because that could go nuts later. So let's do that, and we want a critical, of course. Let's go to the healing. Just stay alive. Perfect. We're full health now. We can take a couple hits. And of course, we have the reduced damage too, so that should help us. Sniper crabs are the worst. Please shock them. Die. I hate sniper crabs. They are they are so bad. <gasps> like like what is that? I'm scared. Freeze him. Please die. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Please give me health. Oh my god. We go sharpshooter. We just want crits, I think, right? We just want crits to be able to... Uh, where's our crit chance? Four? 22% chance. <sighs> I go I go elemental here. We want to increase lighting stacks. Okay, what's the play right now? Uh, stay alive. Almost didn't happen. Hello? It's a laser skull. Hello. Kill him. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like an assassin crab under the rocks. Did you guys see that? 
Yeah, we need survivability and bad. Poison vials good. I think we want more more stacks or more poison. Honestly, let's go for a 46% chance to poison on the bullets. Let's heal. We go for a dagger arc upgrade. Now what are, what's our percentage chance? 31% chance. What is this guy? Enemies poison all nearby enemies when eliminated. That's like crazy good, I think. Oh man, this is scary. As much as I want that, can I? Well, how much does this sell for? Let's buy the smart things, which is this, 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 and this. Now, can I? Can I make enough to get this? Like, I could sell the rig totems. I could sell. I could sell this if I need to for 1,000. I don't think I can make enough here. That's a lot for this. It's so good though. Oh, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I don't know what I can, I don't know what I can sell. I don't think I can do it. Unfortunate. Would have been good. Can't lie. But I think we have to be smart about this. We can't just sell everything. And the other guy fell. Let's go. Huge. That's what I was kind of hoping for. I like to bait the enemies on this stage. Just kind of fall off the stage. Get a key. Dagger arc again. Damage aura is also very good. But I think I want to just like shoot as many. Yeah, this is great. Let's go for silver heart here. Now our health is looking a little better. The lightning shotgun is working very well. Perfect. Our dividends are already giving us about a thousand crystals. Which is a great start. Trick shot. Danger close probably makes a lot of sense, actually, considering we're a shotgun. So I'm going to do that. And then we go for... This is cool and all, but I think I want to try and get like more fortitude. And more crits would be good. Hands dodging. Great. More fortitude. What did I say? More critical. The more criticals we do, the more lightning we do. It's just kind of self-explanatory. I think we always go for criticals if we can. Being able to damage the whole like island is a very good uh, good thing to have. Fifty HP per per stage is also really good. I see sharpshooter. We take sharpshooter. Let's go for a shop. We have decent money. Because the last thing we want to do is get hit, and then we lose we lose money. Gain some more max HP. Actually, a really good amount of HP, too. Holy. Okay, what do we got? Steady shot. We can't aim. All you can eat is cool. It's not really... Uh, not really that necessary. It's a nice thing to have, though. Let's just buy it. Okay, we have next. Hard target. And juiced. We'll definitely take juiced. This is great. This is great so far. Let's go for random here. Our health is at a good point. Use totem. Hello, grubs. Are the crits? Are, are, are my daggers critting as well?
Gotta keep them at bay. Ow. I'm poisoned again. Alright, what do we get? Anything good? Vitality. I'll definitely take that. We have a lot of perks, but not a lot of weapon mods. We need more weapon mods. Okay. Crystal dividends could go crazy. I feel like I need to go lightning shot, though. <laughs> Let's do that. Even though it's like not as great of an option as poison, in my opinion, the lightning build is kind of funny to me. So, we're going to do that. I mean, we are raining lightning on everything. Basically, turn my weapon into a into a Tesla coil. Yeah, this is working quite well. I've never actually built lightning before. It's kind of underrated. At least with the way that one mod is working. Uh, Danger close is all right, but I think I'm gonna go for more dagger arc. We should now be shooting daggers more often than not. Okay, not yet. Forty six percent. Double. Critical. You know I have to do it. Elemental explosions and homing thorns just means we have to stay away from enemies as much as possible. So that means just don't kill anything when you're near them. And now we avoid the thorns. Ow. Okay, the homing thorns are kind of hard. They kind of hit hard. Okay, I'm going to go see what this is over here. I'm selling that. Oh! We need more hard targets. That'd be good. Like, everything's... Okay, it's kind of hard to tell what's my ice and versus, like, the enemy ice. So we got to be careful with the elemental explosions. I should not have done that. <laughs> you shouldn't open... When you have big chests, you should be careful opening more than one chest. Okay, criticals are now at 35%. Yeah, this is a crazy lightning build. No wonder that's a, le a legendary perk. <laughs> that's one of the most insane perks. If you have a good crit. Are you seeing the lightning rain down? This is insane. Our crystals are going hard right now. We have 100k. Okay, we need a shop. And we actually have a shop. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we could buy a lot. And we need we need sturdy totems. That way the reroll doesn't break. Spark shot is interesting. But I think I go for dagger arc again. This should be 53% now. We need a way to heal too. Just passively. Uh, gold heart is actually not bad. Fortitude is good. I mean, there's a way to heal right there, but it's not good enough. Crystal dividends, juice. Grab some armor, too. Uppercut's good. Healing is more effective. It's interesting. I'm going to grab some more armor, too. We're in a good spot. We have a good amount of health, good amount of shields. Pretty, I'm pretty happy with this build. I'm sure it's only going to get better, too. We also have all you can eat, so I can just shoot for a while here. I'm just, like, summoning Thor over and over and over again. That might be one of my favorite mods now, actually. <laughs> like, the way this plays out is so fun. All right, what do we get? Critical light. Are you kidding me? 
A hundred lightning stacks? Ex electric enemies. Okay, we have to go for this one. Yes. Yes, we do this. We are actually full on Tesla build now. Go for more HP here. And we loop. Things are about to get crazy. I think there's a cooldown on the exploding lightning enemies, but the fact that enemies are just dying everywhere and, and shocking each other is just amazing. This is perfect. Let's grab this crystal over here. Gotta be careful not to get hit too. We gotta remember that we have double-edged sword. Danger close. Uppercut is probably the play here. Yeah. Or just danger close. Let's just danger close. Alright, random chest. Soon our weapon will basically be the daggers rather than rather than the actual bullets. Whoa! Hello, starfish. High five. We're also getting 75 HP per stage. Make that 100? Yeah, make that 100. This is so fun. Yeah, this is uh this is a good shotgun run. I am happy with this. No complaints. You know we gotta go dagger arc, it's just too fun. So we're gonna do that. Let's grab crystals and a shop. I know it's a bad idea. I know it's a bad idea. But hear me out. <laughs> it was a great idea. Big chest, let's go for more choices. Damage shot is great. Another heart. Another sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah, I'd say this is pretty good. Let's go for another shop, just faster. We did just double our HP. Do I want to go for another legendary? I could. I could. I will. <sighs> I'm going for health? <laughs> I would say uh, this build is pretty strong. It is pretty strong. There's just constant raining lightning. What is, like what is actually going on? <laughs> Look at her crystals. we get over here what is this bouncing shot doesn't hurt i guess go for more fortitude let's go for an upgrade yeah give me critical lightning or electric enemies You know it's a good run when you can hold your own on the bridge. If you can just do this for the entire horde, you know it's a good run. We're at 300k. Great run, great run there. Uh, f extra 200k uh, crystals. All you can eat for even longer. I think we go for damage shot though, just because we want the extra damage. We get 20 damage now on top. Well, we had 10 before, but now it's 20. I think we get money or yeah, we get crystals based on our damage we're doing. 
Look at the look at the crystals just rolling in. It's just a constant stream of crystals. Ouch. Yeah, that does that loses a lot of H, uh, a lot of crystals, huh? Be really careful. Gotta be careful. Big, even bigger hearts. <laughs> I think Fortitude is better. We're just getting so many crystals. We can just buy as much HP as we want. Buy out the whole shop. Even bigger hearts. More poison. More, more, more damage. Big grenade, why not? Split shots, great. And why not why not bombs? That doesn't really hurt. Why not Grim Reaper? Okay, enemy's probably gonna die pretty quick here. Okay, we lost some crystals. All good. All good. No harm. No. <laughs> we're doing just fine. Give me my key. Oh, a double key. Thank you. Spike strikes. I don't think I care. I'm going to go for checklist. This overall damage is better. And you know what? Give me a bra. Let me give me some armor. Let's keep our armor up. Good round there. I think we go dagger arc. What are we at? 67% chance. Yep, pretty good run. Pretty good run. Lightning aura. I mean for the for the culture we have to, we have to do that. Let's let's get it. Explosive rings uh, explosive enemies and energy rings. We got to be a little bit careful of killing enemies on top of us. hang out over here perfect give me some juice perfect piercing shot could be interesting okay wait a minute escalating shot with the with the shotguns can we make our bullets can we infinitely shoot this is gonna be really horrible at the start like really horrible It's not that bad. Let's go for the shop and like try to get more more escalating shot or more uh more fire rate. Critical blast is great. Let's do that. Danger close doesn't hurt. Even bigger hearts. I mean big like this is going to give me like so much HP, right? It's only 200. Lightning or upgrades. I don't think we really need to do that. Critical blast. I'm looking for sharpshooter is great. Spawn powerful missiles that seek out enemies. I don't really care. I don't care. I'm gonna grab vitality. What I'm hoping for is like to be able to get enough fire rate to be able to just like increase the fire rate over and over again. So what I'm gonna do is try. Just like this. Let's see what let's see what this does. Doesn't really feel like it's increasing much. I'm holding it down, but nothing's really happening. This is a lot of options. 
All right, collector is great. It's getting expensive. <laughs> 130K for the level. We go for upgrade. Kind of hoping for escalating shot, to be honest, or something that makes me be able to shoot forever for longer. I fell. Because with juice, it's not that bad having Ooh, Venn diagram. There we go. Perfect. Oh, critical lightning. Okay, I think we go for that one, even though checklist is really good. I think just more stacks. We have 100 stacks. We don't need money. Well, we do, but we don't. Okay. Kill this one. Now we shoot forever. Ow. Oh, the energy rings are in the air. What the heck is that? It's unfair. Okay, barrel rain's a little scary. Actually, this is very scary. I'm losing a lot of HP. Whoa! <laughs> That might be the fastest slug I've ever seen. Tasty orange is good. I, th I think I'm just going to go for trick shot. I'd rather just consistent damage. Let's go for trick shot as well. We're not really hitting things too close anymore. Spike chest, sure. Let's do it. A little scary. We're going to lose a lot of HP, but I trust in myself. I might have to get rid of the escalating shot. It's not really doing it. And we don't really, really have the uh, the build yet to sustain it. Meanwhile, we could shoot way more often if we actually got rid of it. I really want to make that happen at some point, though. Imagine a build where you have way higher chance to gain ammo than lose it. And then you constantly... Ooh, split shot's good. Can upgrade split shot. Arc shot, I think, changes how things work. This is just, like, immediately a lot of damage. I'm going to do money as power. I think that's... Oh, that's a lot of money. I know we spent a lot before the shop. I know, I know. Probably not the best play. I think it's okay, though. There's more escalating shot. This is what we want to see. Hard target. Definitely take it. All you can eat for longer. I think I need to take that over over this. I need the bullets to last a while. And we go with that. Not a great situation here. Do we go for the other legendary? I don't think we do. Let me just take it and go. Ow, I'm frozen. Ow, I'm frozen. Ow, I'm frozen. Oh, God. Okay, we're actually losing quite a bit of health. Damage shot is probably the best here. Or heal. How much is our heal doing? Where's where's our Grim Reaper? Six HP after eliminating enemies. I should probably get this and double it. So it's 12. Yeah, this could be a good way to just sustain ourselves. And I definitely grab the armor. I know that I could have healed by grabbing the heart, but I think armor is safer. And we should be able to heal a decent amount just from elim eliminating enemies. Let's see how this does. Your armor is also based off your max HP. So armor is really strong. Okay. Do I go for this? I do. Uh, 
Okay, what do we go for here? Uh, big grenade is interesting. I don't really use it that much, though. I'm kind of going with the lightning build. Although the bombs are nice. Let's go for trick shot here. Critical blast. I don't know why I said critical blast. Did I say that right? I, just critical chest? <laughs> Doing a decent job of healing, and our armor plates last a long time. Regenerating armor would make this a guaranteed win. Whether or not we see that, we'll have to find out. Probably not. It's very rare to see it. Ah, we gotta go sharpshooter. We're at forty-three percent. Let's make that forty-six. It's it's falling off. That's for sure. It's harder to get max per, like percent now. You can definitely feel the fire rate getting faster. It's just not great yet. I, I want this to work. It'd be hilarious to see this Tesla coil go off like mad. I hope you're seeing the potential just like, like I am. I think this is going to be crazy. Uppercut's fine. Let's go for random. Hopefully find some escalating shot. right now it only takes 25 shots to be above our actual fire rate I think this is gonna work this is gonna work streamer loot is good yeah we'll do that let's go for random could have gone for a boss but it only gives an epic anyway like one epic and with streamer loot, we pretty much have a good chance to get something random and good. I think escalating shots working. It's a slow build up, but this is already pretty fast. Okay, gotta pause for a second. A few moments later. Oh man, okay, I'm back. Sorry. I keep getting telemarketers lately. I, I don't know why, just a lot of them. We're, this this stage always has a mystery crab that just shows up later. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uppercut. Extra uses of my grenade would be great if we're actually using them. We aren't. We're looking for things that bring our bullets back. Nothing here does that. Do I go for elite? There are three bosses, and I don't have that much HP. I think it's a bit of a foolish decision. Our armor plates are almost gone. Ouch. My armor plates are now gone. We gotta be careful. We could lose this run. What are you doing in that corner, Pufferfish? What are you doing? All right. What are we doing here? I might grab armor. <laughs> I think I am going to do that. You're gaining nearly a hundred thousand credits per like three seconds. That's fine. You know what? We're at nine hundred thousand. Not bothered. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going for health again. I gotta make sure I'm sustaining my my, my build here. I don't want to lose it. Who am I kidding? How am I going to lose this? Got a 
lightning black hole over here. <laughs> like, what is actually going on? We're healing slowly, actually. We're already at 2k. It's decent. Let's look at our fire rate already. If you can even hear it. There's just too many noises going on. Yeah, look at that. That's actually pretty fast. Regenerator's decent. We already have a lot of fortitude. I'm honestly just going to grab more armor. Let's just do armor and keep healing up. And I think our build will be okay. Critical thinking. It's okay. We don't really... Okay, these are both critical things. I don't really care. The non-crit damage being reduced is kind of bad. We're not at... Like, we're at 50%. So, it, maybe overall would be better. I don't know. I don't want to think too hard. Uh, healing is more effective. Yes, let's do that. That's expensive. Hard target. Gold heart. Yep. More dagger arc. More escalating shot. Here we go. Okay, so what are we at? We're at 3% per fi shot fired. So really only need like uh, 17 shots to be passed. Okay. We move on. We're getting kind of hit hard here. I don't think you can freeze the main enemies. I don't think you can do that. Maybe I'm crazy. These guys have this guy has, he has stacks on them, but it's not doing anything. I am getting hit like crazy. He, I actually lost a lot of it max HP, but it's not a big deal. That's it. We did it. What a run. What a run. I'm very happy to have the shotguns finished. I, I didn't think it was going to happen as easily as it did. And just for good measure, is there any more? Yeah. I, I At some point, I do want to do like an infinite run and see how far we can get. Because I might get out of hand. I probably will. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the dual shotguns done. And we are now Ruby. We're Ruby. Okay, sweet. So we are the uh, second highest rank. We just need, I think, four more guns and we are going to be diamonds. So let's see. We've got the dual pistols left, the auto shotgun, which is going to be miserable as well, the burst pistol, and then the seagull. Pretty good run. I'm pretty happy with that one. The Tesla coil shotguns. Who would have thought? Not me. All right, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.